It's Video Tuesday. Welcome back to Great Photography and Video on a Budget. I'm George E. Harrison. And since you see me standing in front of my favorite water fountain, you know another mic test is coming up. And we started the mic test with a road mic versus an on-camera mic. We got real good positive feedback. Then we did the road mic versus a live mic. And also there's excellent feedback. So now we're going to do a stick mic where you'd probably hold it right here while you was interviewing someone. And the live mic right here what you probably place when you're interviewing someone. The live mic sound is on channel one. The stick mic sound is on channel two. We're going to be shooting all these at the exact same time. So when I put them up for you, then you can decide which one sound, would sound better in an interview if you're in front of a waterfall. Stick mic or the live mic. And also remember, it's, it's called Great Photography and Video on a Budget. When I say on a budget, everything I use except for my video camera is under uh, $400. This is the mic that I bought from the local pawn shop for $14. You can find it online on eBay anywhere from $25 to $35. But for $14, I think even if it doesn't work, that's a great deal. It's called the BM800. So let's go put it to the test against my BY Boyer BYWM5 that cost, when I bought it three years ago, $100. Now you can get it online for around about $75. It's Video Tuesday. Welcome back to Great Photography and Video on a Budget. I'm George E. Harrison. And since you see me standing in front of my favorite water fountain, you know another mic test is coming up. And we started the mic test with a road mic versus an on-camera mic. and got real good positive feedback. Then we did the road mic versus a live mic. And also there's excellent feedback. So now we're going to do a stick mic while you'd probably hold it right here while you was interviewing someone. And the live mic right here what you probably place when you're interviewing someone. The live mic sound is on channel one. The stick mic sound is on channel two. We're going to be shooting all these at the exact same time. So when I put them up for you, then you can decide which one sound, would sound better in an interview if you're in front of a waterfall. Stick mic or the live mic. And also remember, it's, it's called Great Photography and Video on a Budget. When I say on a budget, everything I use except for my video camera is under uh, $400. This is the mic that I bought from the local pawn shop for $14. You can find it online on eBay anywhere from $25 to $35. But for $14, I think even if it doesn't work, that's a great deal. It's called the BM800. So let's go put it to the test against my BY Boyer BYWM5 that costs, when I bought it three years ago, $100. Now you can get it online for around about $75. This is one of the busier intersections in town. It's right by the courthouse. So which one sounds the best when it comes to picking up my voice over the traffic? The $15 stick mic or the $100 live mic? You decide. This is one of the busier intersections in town. It's right by the courthouse. So which one sounds the best when it comes to picking up my voice over the traffic? The $15 stick mic or the $100 live mic? You decide. Okay, now I'm right downtown in Ashbury. Now, how, how does the mic sound? A live mic or a stick mic? Yes, this is a test about sound quality, but it's also a test about convenience. If you're interviewing someone on the street, what would you rather have? Would you have the, would you have the option of putting the live mic on or holding the stick mic? And if, they, if they're, close enough, they're close enough in sound, even if the live mic was the wind out on it, the stick mic was the wind out on the interview, I would probably go with the live mic just for the convenience. But that's up to you. What would you rather have? Convenience of, of not holding the mic or quality sound if you think the stick mic is better? Now I'm right downtown in Ashbury. Now how, how does the mic sound? The live mic or the stick mic? Yes, this is a test about sound quality, but it's also a test about convenience. If you're interviewing someone on the street, what would you rather have? Would you have the, would you have the option of putting the live mic on or holding the stick mic? And if, they, if they're, close enough, they're close enough in sound, even if the live mic was the wind out on it, the stick mic was the wind out on the interview, I would probably go with the live mic just for the convenience. But that's up to you. What would you rather have? Convenience of, of not holding the mic or quality sound if you think the stick mic is better? Well, I hope you got something out of this totally unscientific test, live mic versus the stick mic. What will it come down to? Will the satin factor be convenience of one mic over the other, 
or will quality always rule out? Now, I know I said earlier I would probably go with convenience, but I rethought that and been a true photographer. Convenience would never rule out over quality sound. So I had, I had to double check, correct that. Quality sound, no matter how convenient the live mic would be in certain situations, if I had to use a stick mic, I'm definitely going to use a stick mic because when I all come down to it, a lot of times you will forgive a bad picture, but you will never forgive bad sound. So as always, I want to thank you for coming along with me on this photographic journey. If you're watching this on YouTube, go down to the right-hand corner, hit the subscribe button, and also hit the notification button so you can get out my videos on Tuesday and Friday. And of course, if you're watching this on Facebook and you want to collaborate with me, uh, get up with me and you shoot, I help you shoot, we wa I watch your back, I, you watch my back. Oh, it's a lot easier if someone was behind the camera, you know, operating, because I, I now have it on autofocus and I'm hoping I'm in focus. If not, I go back, have to do it the old-fashioned way. Just set up a stick, focus on that, get in front of the stick, knock the stick to take down. But if both of us working together, we can probably do these in 30 minutes, 15 minutes, and we're done. So, again, thank you for watching, and I will see you Friday. Well, I hope you got some out of this totally unscientific test, lob mic versus the stick mic. What will it come down to? Will the sound factor be convenience of one mic over the other, or will quality always rule out? Now, I know I said earlier I would probably go with convenience, but I rethought that and been a true photographer. Convenience would never rule out over quality sound. So I had, had to double check, correct that. Quality sound, no matter how convenient the live mic would be in certain situations, if I had to use a stick mic, I'm definitely gonna use a stick mic, because when I all come down to it, a lot of times you will forgive a bad picture, but you will never forgive bad sound. So as always, I want to thank you for coming along with me on this photographic journey. If you're watching this on YouTube, go down to the right-hand corner, hit the subscribe button, and also hit the notification button so you can get out my videos on Tuesday and Friday. And of course, if you're watching this on Facebook and you want to collaborate with me, uh, get up with me and you shoot, I help you shoot, we wa I watch your back, I, you watch my back. Oh, it's a lot easier if someone was behind the camera, you know, operating because I, I now have it on autofocus and I'm hoping I'm in focus. If not, I go back, have to do it the old-fashioned way, just set up a stick, focus on that, get in front of the stick, knock the stick to take down. But if both of us working together, we can probably do these in 30 minutes, 15 minutes, and we're done. So, again, thank you for watching and I will see you Friday.